Hello folks, fellow YouTubers and friends. <clears throat> We're back at it again. Uh, the ceiling fan that we converted to a PMA, permanent magnet alternator, uh, has uh, the two inch, I'm uh, sorry, uh, they're one seven eighths by seven eighths by three eighths of an inch thick magnets that you get from uh, Home Depot. And uh, we're getting ready to do a bench test now, and we're going to use my uh, Ryobi drill that turns at 300 RPMs. We have got a two inch diameter wire brush on it, and the uh, ceiling fan outside diameter is six inches, so that's a three to one reduction. So it should turn it at it right at, or you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of 100 RPMs. Now, uh, we've already done a few uh, bench tests and the voltage and the milliamps is unbelievably high at 100 RPMs. I mean, I, could, I couldn't b uh, believe it myself. But I did order some other magnets. I showed you the magnets I was going to put in. They were 2 inch by 1 inch by 3 8 neodymium magnets, pulled 58 pounds. Well, I was thinking that that might be too, too much uh, cogging and uh, more difficult to get it to start running. So I bought these. These are two inch by half inch by quarter inch. Now I'm going to have to put a one inch, uh, one eighth inch spacer behind them, okay, to get them out to the uh, rotor. I just want y'all to see that these things, uh, they, the ceramic magnets pull 4.7 pounds. These pull 27 pounds. I divided it out on the computer, and it comes to 5.7 times stronger, and they cost 65 cents more than the ceramic magnets each okay so I think they're going to be well worth it all right now uh, Daniel's over here he's going to do a bench test and if you you can see the uh, Daniel put aside the drill over here a little more no 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 drill damn it yeah yeah I want people to see this back here because it's I'm at it zero to the end okay uh, so you see it's a Ryobi drill and uh, it turns at roughly 300 RPMs and it's got a two inch diameter uh, wire brush. I'll stand over here and fire that bad boy up. Now the Alton, uh, uh, the ceiling fan has a white wire, red wire, that's no, that's a set. Then there's a pink wire and a yellow wire, that's a set. So it's the two deals. Right now we're on the white wire and the pink wire. I'm going to zoom in on the deal and we've got it set on voltage and we've got it set for 400 volts. There we go. Okay, go ahead, Daniel. Whoa. Got a shirt. <laughs> this is what we don't do. All right, voltage is up there at bouncing between 40, 42, now 43. And that's at roughly 100 RPM. Okay, Daniel. Swap it over to uh, amps, milliamps. Okay, now she's set on 40 milliamps. 400. Okay, so she's reading, she's bouncing between 16 and 19 milliamps. No, 364. Oh, 364 milliamps. Holy cow. 367. 373. Average of 370. Average of 370 milliamps at uh, 40 volts. Okay, change the teams of wires up here. Now we're going to go to the red and uh, white. white set of wires, set of coils. Okay, leave it. Go ahead and leave it on milliamps, and let's read that. Yeah. Okay, we're reading 310, 319, 310, 311. Okay, that's good. So she's over 300 milliamps on the red and white coil. Now we're going to go back to voltage. Okay. I can't read it. There's too much glare from the light. 
41. Hogan Steady at 41. 42. All right, there you are, folks. Okay. All right, we're going to get started now that we know that the, that the thing's putting out. We're going to get started on here in just a few minutes on the uh, second ceiling fan PMA, and we're going to use those uh, two inch by uh, half, half inch by quarter inch neodymiums in that one and see what that does. Thanks for watching.